Hey guys, welcome back to the Invincible. My name is Twitchy, playing the role of Yasna, Yasna, uh, a, a future scientist who went to sleep in a cryopod and then woke up in the desert, and all her crew are missing. And we've managed to find three of them, and they've had their brains wiped. And where's my fourth crew member? And we're about to have a flashback. Yasna didn't didn't find Dr. Gorski in his last known position. To continue the search, she enters an area with limited radio coverage. They they cut me off from my crew, man. They cut me off from my crew. But here we are. We're having a bit of a flashback. Altitude 24. Oh, we are in trouble. Well, it, they say it's going smooth, but you know, it, it's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. Re entry is not a nice uh, process on any vehicle, and uh, even in the future, friction is a thing. Oh, it's compression more than friction, but we're at 12,000. We're throttling down. 30 seconds until touchdown. 30 seconds is a bit of a long time to wait, but look at that beautiful star out there. The Red Dwarf Rigus. We are on planet Rigus 3. Why are we on the surface of Rigus 3? I don't actually know. We were supposed to be asleep. Uh, th this guy, Novik, definitely does know, though. Okay, a bit of a radio dropout. 47 degrees is a bit of a, a bit of a strong angle to be coming in at. And I think we touched down nicely. I think we survived. Is that all good? Can I look around? I can look around. Okay. Has landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Can I get up though? Astrogator, can you hear me? Okay, that's good. Astrogator can hear me. All good. Spine still in one piece. Mm, no spines. signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so th this must be why I got to the desert. And so I woke up ever so slightly missing all of my memories. 100%. The dust has already settled. Something about a dust. Oh, look at this. Look how clear everything is. I didn't realize quite how dust shrouded our environment was before now. Beetle? I've located the second lander. Indeed. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. Is it? I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. So Dragonfly is our so main vessel. Something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew doctor. Right. Was I? Was I? Okay, let's have a look around. Side. What do we see? It's a bit dusty in here. Uh, they couldn't go back even if they wanted. We're left with one land. Oh, oh! Look at this. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly, or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened, but that means Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. That sounds great. That sounds great. What is this? Uh, wait. Uh, we shouldn't be here. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us, but I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. <sighs> it's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I dare to doubt. Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please. Justified or not. I won't let that happen. How? We have the imprimis homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But isn't that exactly what's happening? The situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Not Enough. a bit. Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Rejecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Copy that. Over and out. <laughs> That's it. Keep your mouth quiet and we don't have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. What is this sooty in isolation? Insulation? Isolation. It is isolation. I can't, I can't actually touch 
any of these and do anything with them. So I guess I'm just leaving. What happened to the crew? They landed. There was a dust storm, I think we were hearing. And it felt like there was a dust storm still in there. It definitely felt a bit terrible. If I open my map, what do we see? There's Beetle. There's Hopper. We are definitely going in the right direction here. That's good to see. I want to I wanna go the path that we can't see that well through. Just in case there's like something hidden up here somewhere you never know there might be a body just behind this stone no there's not okay that that it's something to check wow why have we not seen this view before look at the beautiful ocean wow that, that's that's really nice i like that a lot but where does the ocean end and the sky begin there, there there's a question there is a question i'm not entirely sure i can answer that right now with the view that is in front of me uh, it's it's a little it's a little disconcerting now that i'm stopping to look at it i don't I don't know where anything is in front of me. That, that's horrible. Okay, are we going left or right? Are we going left or right? We, we are looking sideways at the moment, so we're going right. Don't press escape. This is going to be a problem the whole way through this game. Maybe I should have got the controller out to play it, but I do definitely want to walk up to the edge here. Be like, wow. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. It, actual breathtaking actual breathtaking that that ringed planet up there in the background definitely all about it all about it so somewhere off in this direction we've got to have ourselves a campsite uh, that's a long way to walk though uh definitely under the the blazing su sunlight of the uh, the red dwarf up there so if that's red dwarf we've got i mean i mean look at it it's big we've got to be quite close to it right uh it, it's taken up a wide area of this of the sky i mean i guess it's not actually that i mean it is big it's a star let's let's be honest here do i oh look at this uh pull that up what have we got what's, what's that's a flag is, is is that one of our flags i don't know can i tried clicking on it didn't give me a, a word or anything no, okay, no, nothing to say about it. Nothing to say about it. We're gonna we're gonna work our way around and see if we can't get down there. I guess there's a pathway somewhere. Like there's got to be. Oh look, it's those repeating mountains again. Uh, there, there's got to be a pathway somewhere down, right? The, the would the devs leave us hanging like this? Can I go down here? No, that's not that's not going down. So are we in the future? going to be able to go down and check out that flag in a moment do you, do, do you think like if this is if this is the flashback uh, are we oh look are we in the future going to go back can I can I climb hello is this how I hurt myself I'm, I'm hearing a lot of beeping I'm not sure if the beeping is good or not uh, let's how, how how do I get on the rope? I don't, I don't think I can, and it's also a pretty impassable barrier. <laughs> what what a what a, an amazing piece of equipment that is! I, I never would have thought that such a tiny thing would have hampered my movement, but here we are. Uh, okay, I still can't actually see what's on there. Is that a Commonwealth flag? Is that that doesn't look like our doesn't look like our flag, does it? That's um. Okay, maybe something to, to to be aware of. Oh, that that would be that would be terrible. Is this, is this actually all a piece of? Ooh. Huh. Please stop for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? Uh, what have we got? Someone was smoking here. I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. Can I take one? They didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor, but the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Mm, I dare to disagree. I think both issues are important. Yeah. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. The oh. safety of our people. The safety of our people. Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. In the end, 
the strongest will survive. Isn't that Ooh. how evolution works? I mean, kind of. Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. It, we can't. We, can't. We, we go out, we consume, we turn things into what we want, and everything else be danged. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Can you? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. An hour? Oh my gosh, but an hour is so long. That's that that is a walk. Now, we do know from the previous episode that at some point we're going to have to be running into the bushes because I need to make a report to the astrogator so that he can tell me that I made a report when I lose my memory. Uh, it's a weird time loop thing. Uh, I can understand why people would have trouble with with such wibbly wobbliness, but I've got it. Convenient passage. Excellent. Please speed ahead. Speeding. A long way to go. Uh, you should save your breath, Astrogator. Stop talking to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I feel like Yasna really didn't like him anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, looking in the water. I can't believe I, as a biologist, was just like, yeah, let's just let's just run straight into that water. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Uh, am I am I looking in the right direction? No, but I am very curious. Very, let, let me up, please. Very, look, we've got we've got a bit of a, a broken wall here. Oh, I won't, it won't let me up. Though it does look like it would join across. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. There's a good bit, a good bit of connectivity in the world there. I wonder if we are, will be able to take advantage of it at any point. Uh, I would like to, but I'm not the person who makes the gameplay here. Man, this this is oh oh here we are found them look at them they are horrific what made of this? metal astrogator i found a peculiar inorganic structure well, how do i know it already like some spiky metal growth it I looks pretty organic to me is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure oh, i've never seen anything like this you've never seen a chemical gun i had time to run some tests when the situation is stabilized we will take samples i promise Okay, I don't want to walk through here. I, I've, I've got a level with you. Uh, if if I found... Yeah, you see? You see? Stuff. And and things are going wrong. I'm, I might just turn around and go back. Oh, no. So, suddenly. Uh, only half an hour. I feel... Darkness. Darkness. So are the plants protecting me from whatever got the rest of my crew? Huh? I'm fine. I'm fine. We're alright. It's all good. Everything's okay. I'm definitely carrying on. Why, why is my heartbeat but not movement? Mm, am I supposed to keep walking in? Oh. See, they gave me an option to back out. And now I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, climbing up here? This, this seems mildly scary. Uh, that one. Click. Thank you. Yeah, if, if you're passing it, don't, don't hold them. Yeah, there's a problem. This, this feels bad. I didn't wake up there. I didn't wake up there, so I'm not sure how that particularly works. Um, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Welcome back. Breaking through. Okay, so this is where we 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 had a little bit of a flashback. Uh, what's what what's ways my way forward? This way. There's the the probe. Hello, Olga. How are you doing? It's great to see you again. My. Are you saying I should go this way? I I don't know whether Olga can be trusted. Can I climb up here? No, okay, I think I think I'm being herded this way. Alright, we, we we go, we walk, we follow the path, for that is the only way we can go forwards. I've got myself an all clear. How do we know? Hey Over. I guess that's a no. That seemed like a no. Hello. I hear you. 
Do you hear me? Oh, all right. I lied. I don't hear hear them. Olga, Olga, stay close. Stay close. I'm I'm worried about what we're going to find here. Oh, hello. Is everything all right? Yes. Yes. All good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. Oh, that's that's great. Uh, I feel like I was too late. Did the reactor? What, what about my, yeah? May I ask? What did he do with Merritt? I placed her body in the cryo chamber. Okay, so good. Thank you. Please, don't thank me. Why not? It was the least I could do for her. It was the least we both could do for her. Again, his fault we're here. Bro. Well, I mean, you know, is it his fault? Is it the company's fault? It's always a, an interesting question in these, these dark, dark times when you're just following orders. Are you truly just following orders? Could you have just not? Um, okay, well, let, let's go. Oh, integrated area. I know where Corsica was going. Intriguing area, not integrated area. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's let's try and wander up and over this way. Maybe I feel I feel like it wants me actually to go down that way. Hmm. Oh, climbing rope. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? Yeah, why not? Can I click it again? Is that a thing? Can, can we go down here? I feel like I should be able to interact with this. Maybe I just want to jump. No, it won't let, it won't let me just walk off. I feel like maybe this is glitched again. Ah, ah, it was the angle. I just had to get even closer. Okay, that that that's fine. That's fine. That's something we can do. Oh, look, I've got a little oh, descender. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, yeah, are you going to use a grave tapper? What's that? Yes, I am considering that as a possibility. What's and a grave tapper? What is your opinion? Should we look into our brain? Uh, we should. No, no, we we should. We the should. The more we know, the better chance we have to help others. There's not going to be anything there, though, right? It, it's going. It's going to be empty. Oh. The sender helped me. Yes. One sec. We're fine. We're okay. Fell. How did we fall? Oh, hello, bro. Oh, at the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Can't you not pull I'm yourself up? With all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Fair few. Go back. I'm not strong enough. Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you sway? Could could I? Oh, look, there's a jump here. I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? Ah, uh, not really. A substantial fall on unsteady ground. It this doesn't sound safe. That I would describe as safe. It doesn't sound safe at all. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking, thinking. if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, yes, sir. He could but be in trouble. With injuries. Uh, so what? You only get to die once. I'm gonna hang. I'm not gonna hang around forever. Do you, Do you have another idea? <sighs> All right. So do you have hang another on to him. idea? Oh, well, you, you come here. This until the end of time itself. There is a certain possibility. Yeah. Uh, certain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Always. Can you see the probe? Yes. The probe. Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible... Is it going to burn me? You could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? No, but it will cushion the fall. It'll be better than nothing, right? All right. Let's Why did they try. say riskier than jumping? I I don't think that's riskier. You must guide me. Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh. Two meters. One meter. I can't tell the distance. Two meters forward. Uh, Stop. That's enough. You have a really good eye. Thank you. Two meters. All right. Cool. I'm down. Oh. Oh, two, two more centimeters. You could 
say so. Ooh, Olga, you all right? I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> Olga, you fine? Are you at the way? I'm more interested in my probe that just bounced off the wall. Are you okay? Are you doing all right? Is is everything? How are we gonna get? Sorry, let me just. How are we getting up there? How are we going back? I I feel like we've maybe. Maybe giving ourselves a bit of a problem. Look at this. Get out of the way, please. Look at that. That is crazy. Cra Wait, there's more. Oh, there is so much more. I don't know why I walked up this slope. But it's very obvious I want to go down. A few minutes after noon. Even then, Doctor Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. No. What, what's this? Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski did not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. Look they at look it. like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Uh, I'm gonna go with this was uh, an ancient city. Left or right? Clearance, depth. <sighs> I can't even see the bottom. That's crazy. The go that deep. Yes, I dread to think. Do you dread to think? What if Gorski? What if Doctor Gorski fell down there? I took that into account when calibrating the probe. It will examine the bottom. I'll let you know okay. I'm all about a good bottom examination. But, but what is going to get found down there? What probe? Why aren't you? Why aren't you? Got, I literally cannot see the bottom. Okay, let's have a look over here. What have we got? We've got a flag. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. I'd keep going. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should be looking for a way back by now. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, Lol. he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. I mean, aren't we all, though? Aren't we all? That sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. What is that up it. there? What is that? I have no idea. It almost looks a little bit honeycomby. I'm still wondering. Okay, there's only one way to go, right? There's there there's literally this gap. Well, do you mind, Mr. Astrogator? I've got I've got stuff to go do, and I need to think about it before I just randomly kill myself. Two more hours. Four. Huh? What? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen at best. And at worst? Yeah. He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. Uh, he should have breathed the atmosphere. If I remember correctly, there was a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. According to Dr. Crowter, negative symptoms can appear after an hour. Maybe after a few hours. I think you'll find Gorski by then. I hope, hope so. so. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. The metal grew itself? It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms could survive here. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods. So maybe this metal builds up somehow. By itself. Oh. You've already said something similar before. Just after landing, when you found those bushes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Part of um, a machine. I can't tell if any of this could be part of a machine. Really wish we found Gorski already. It'd be nice, right? It'd be nice. If, if only we had the machine I expert around whilst we're... Oh, oh, God. Ah, I see the probe. 
Hey Olga, you doing good? What's going on? Has it found anything interesting? Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. Oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Mm. Oh, is it because of my flight? Yeah. It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. <sighs> It's when Olga hit the wall, right? It's when Olga hit the wall. You okay? Or am I looking? Am I lo looking at the right thing here? Are we supposed to be looking at Olga? Or are we looking behind her? Uh, it looks like I'm supposed to be looking at her. Okay, let, let, let's go over here and click. You all right? It's just a thing to see. I, I mean, she, she looks fine. I don't. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, we'll we'll carry on moving. I mean, we've got manual control, right? So it's no problem. How far away? Just out of interest. How far away? Less than fifty meters. Okay, that that's a thing. It was the number on the outside of the metal ring. If you were wondering, I don't know even slightly where it is. I'm supposed to be going. I suppose that is exploration of this weird, weird place. Like, do I really think that this is just metal diffusing? Yes, yes they are. Yep, wherever I look, there's metal. It's all the metal in the planet. It's a bit like Pando. Who? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest? Huh, that does sound bizarre. So maybe. Maybe. It's, it sounds very plausible from where I'm stood right now. You know, you know, I, I, I feel like oh, this, this, this is quite, quite the area, quite the feels. Yeah. Okay. Where, where, where's my doctor friend? Where's my doctor friend? Uh, I think actually with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this exploration based adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're hoping to find Dr. Gorski. Like where, where is the man? He's out here somewhere doing his thing. And, uh, honestly, I want to track him down, but I will see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye.